Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Art Whisperer 88. On your screen you will see a painting I uh, would like to use as an inspiration piece. It's called Mailbox, done in 1948 by American artist Willem de Kooning. And uh, it shows a uh, a field of white with some variations of gray and black and a lot of scribbles and very faint touches of pink, yellow and blue. So I will use this uh, color scheme as my inspiration and do a piece inspired by it. Now I'm going to start off with some random shapes. Just some random black lines with my Sharpie pen. Okay, that will be the first step. And then now the second step is to do, this is Lucas Titanium White. I don't use this very often because I do prefer the warmer uh, unbleached titanium, but uh, this piece calls for a lighter background so I'm going to give it a try and uh, I'm going to place some ivory black just a few touches here just to provide that uh, kind of smeared look. Now, since this is a brand new tube of tit titanium white, the paint is on the thick side. So, um, I'm doing my best to spread it very evenly and thinly. I'm going 
need a little more right here. Since I'm trying to pick up the uh, black marker, the Sharpie marker, I will leave this on for like five minutes. I soak my brayer. Okay, it's been about five minutes. Let's see what we got. very aggressive uh, paper is really stuck to the uh, plate and it is picking up all the uh, mar marks and lines See, there's a lot of parts here that the paint dried and did not transfer, but that's okay. I uh, consider that part of the texture. This is, this is the uh, first layer. Seems to be very dry already. Uh, I think it's because the, the paint here is on the thick side. And uh, I find that generally that paints that contain white, like light colors or pastel colors, they are on the thicker side and dry much faster. But I, I do like the result. I like this faded section here. So anyway, I will continue on to the next step and maybe introduce some of my reusable stencils. Okay, this is the second part of the video. I was able to arrange my reusable stencils and I will do a mixture of Arctic by Lucas and some Naples Yellow by Blick. 
and a little bit of this apricot color by Lucas. So it's a mixture of different light colors. And I, as I had mentioned before, the lighter colors tend to be thicker than the dark ones. Okay. I'm using the heel, this I call the heel of the brayer, to make more marks. Instead of using my stick. Okay. Now, I will proceed to take the stencils off.
Okay, it's been about five minutes. Let's see what we got. It's an interesting blend of color. And I think the result is it is uh, semi-transparent. It makes these uh, scary noises as I'm pulling and I'm scared that it will tear, but it, it's not doing it. Okay. Be cool. I'm glad that the um, second layer covered this part that was a bald spot. And uh, okay. So let me see. Um, I can uh, air dry this and consider the third layer so don't go away okay so now I plan to place uh, some ivory black here in the middle and then silver on the top and the bottom and um, the black will provide some contrast and uh, it may not look exactly like the inspiration piece but that's okay there'll be a slight resemblance but again I want to stress that uh, when you use an inspiration piece you don't copy the piece you interpret it uh, there's a huge difference so I think this is where my 8 inch brayer will come in handy so I'm going to start I have to be a little careful because the the brayer creates like a suction when it's moving too fast. kind of scary there I'm not gonna I'm not gonna push my luck and not play with this too much okay so again I will take the stencils off
Okay, I think I got them all. And just to refresh your memory, here is the second pull. Just make sure it's not upside down. Just soak this. Okay, it's been about five minutes. Let's see what we got. I think the uh, last layer gives the piece some contrast. That's pretty cool. It has a very little resemblance to the inspiration piece, but it carries the same uh, color scheme more or less. Here's a close up. Pretty cool. Again, this is in keeping with the mid-century modern look. This is geometric abstraction. And that was the, uh, the trend or the school of thought during that time in American history. Um, I think this is a standalone. I'm not going to add any more. And uh, I think it worked out. It's a different kind of uh, color scheme. It's a little softer and more minimal. And uh, I like the interplay of the uh, Sharpie pen lines. And the silver gives it a little shine. It looks like graphite. Um, actually, let me show you the close up so you can see the textures. The uh, shapes are quite bold, but Within the bold shapes, you will see very fine textures. And that gives a nice contrast. And I think the key to successful print is to have enough contrast with texture and 
cover. Inspiration piece derived from William de Kooning's mailbox done in 1948. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. Please share with your friends. Give me a thumbs up. And I hope to see you next time.